Welcome to Mini EM. Here's how to do a fluorescein exam in the emergency department. If your patient wears contacts, make sure they take them out. They shouldn't put them back in for a few hours because the fluorescein will permanently stain them. Next, anesthetize the eye. Have your patient pull down their lower lid to expose the conjunctiva and give one to two drops of preparacaine or tetracaine into the lower lid of each eye. You'll have the patient look upwards while you're doing this to make it easier. You'll want to make sure that your fluorescein strip is wet before you touch it to the patient's eye or else it's just going to stick and be uncomfortable. So you can either take one drop from a saline flush or you can just use one of your anesthetic drops onto it. Have your patient pull down their lower lid and touch the wet fluorescein paper to their conjunctiva. You want a very thin layer of dye. If the patient's eye gets flooded, have them blot away the dye with a tissue. Remember that this can stain their clothing, so be really careful. Now turn the lights off and you can either use the blue light from a slit lamp or you can use a handheld blue light to make the dye fluoresce. If possible, it's most ideal to look at their eye under magnification with the slit lamp's blue light. Now examine their eye. Fluorescein will mainly show you corneal pathology. Oftentimes the conjunctival will have mucus that picks up staining, but this isn't super clinically relevant. Normally the cornea will not uptake dye. Examples of abnormal findings includes corneal abrasions, which can happen from a scratch to the eye, a foreign body, pepper spray, or other things that fly at the eye at high speed. Corneal foreign bodies will appear as objects embedded in the cornea and they'll be outlined by dye. Corneal punctate keratitis can occur from UV damage. Dendritic corneal ulcers are most often herpetic. Keratitis and ulcers can also be caused by other viruses, bacteria, and even fungi. If you're worried about a ruptured globe, you can also do the Seidel test. Use like four to five times the amount of dye that you use for the normal fluorescein test. You want to flood the eye with fluorescein for this. If you see a stream of fluorescence, this suggests that there's a communication between the humors of the eye within the globe and the outside world. And this is by definition a ruptured globe. That's it. Check out the rest of Mini EM for some more videos on the eye exam.